the beat or thing of the prime. If an org gave you an offer where you get to make your own roster, but Oxy has to stay. It has nothing to do with really the players on the team anymore. It's just, it's like a lot more than that. The fact that I would have to move to LA, I'd have to find free agents. All that shit's hard. They wouldn't, I wouldn't just be able to pick up whoever I want because everyone's already on a team. So we'd have to do buyouts and stuff. It's not that easy is the problem. That's why it's better to wait till next year, right? Because this year, all the teams have already been like kind of settled and no team is going to make like three changes plus um, to add like me, Sam, and like another guy. It just makes way more sense to play next year than this year. If you like played, if you have, if you've only, if the org you're joining's already played like split one and like haven't made it to Shanghai and then you also missed out on the first masters in Madrid, you're really not playing for much. You're playing for one more land and that's it. And that's not really worth risking your potential stock, risking it not working out, all that stuff. It just doesn't, at least for me, it wouldn't make sense. Maybe for like a rookie player, it would be fine. But for me and Sam, it really wouldn't make sense to join a team like halfway through the season or more than halfway through the season. Yeah, this year I'm just going to stream. This year I'm going to stream. You guys have to understand the year ends in what is it? When does Champs end? Champs ends uh, August? End of August? Or what? Yeah, there you go. It's not even the whole year. It's just August. That's when the year for Match Valorant found. ends. So after that, I will look to maybe join a team if somebody wants me. But till then, it doesn't really make sense for me to join anybody. We'd be like playing to see what would happen next year, not this year.